hi welcome to my channel in this video i am going to explain heterocyclic chemistry of five membered ring systems five membered ring systems so basically the five membered ring systems may be contained with nitrogen atom or without nitrogen atom as a hetero atoms so we know well the hetero atoms mostly present in the ring system are nitrogen oxygen sulfur so if nitrogen is present as a hetero atom in the five member ring system then the suffix of the heterocyclic ring name we are giving as a ol ole if it is unsaturation that means completely uh, it is having the double bonds if you see in this example azole or pyrrole it is completely unsaturated the suffix we are giving to this compound is ole ol if it is saturated completely the double bonds are removed if it is saturated condition the same example it is not having the double bonds so the suffix is going to come olidin olidin so this is the suffix we are preferring in the five member ring systems having nitrogen atom the ring containing nitrogen atom so if the ring without nitrogen like oxygen and sulfur is present in the five member ring system so if that ring is unsaturated the suffix we are giving is ol as like nitrogen in the case of oxygen and sulfur also we are giving the suffix to the compound is ol and if it is completely saturated absence of double bonds if it is completely saturated so we can write as a olein the suffix we can give to the compound is the olein so this is the major key points in the five member ring systems nomenclature as we know if oxygen is present the prefix we are giving to the name of the five member ring system oxa sulfur means thia nitrogen means aja this is the pattern we are giving as a prefix to the hetero atoms so here are the examples we can see five member ring system with one hetero atom only one hetero atom is present in the ring system the most of the this heterocyclic compounds are called with the trivial names only till now also some cases they are preferring the iupac names so trivial name of this five member ring system having nitrogen atom that is 1h pyrrole the five member ring with nitrogen pyrrole five member ring with oxygen furan five member ring with sulfur thiophen so if we say iupac name for this compound as we discussed now the nitrogen contained means the prefix we can give is the aza and it is completely unsaturated it indicates the prefix we can give to sorry suffix we can give to the ol aza plus ol if you see downside i written here aza plus ol azol in the similar pattern oxol oxen is present in the five member ring system oxa plus ol oxol thia plus ol ol is indicating the suffix for the five member ring system with unsaturation thiol coming to the five member ring system with one hetero atom uh, that is uh, numbering how we are giving always we are giving numbering from the hetero atom only so if you see here in the pyrrole we can start numbering from the nitrogen atom one either we can give clockwise or anti clockwise both are similar here in this case of pyrrole so it is unsaturated if it is partially saturated so we can see these two types of uh, partially saturated pyrrol ring systems we can find one double bond is removed here and two hydrogens are added here also one double bond is removed two hydrogens are added so where that hydrogens are located or where the double bond is removed that we can mention as like this ipac nomenclature so if you give the numbering nitrogen as a 1 and 2 3 4 5 So this is the one, two, three, four, five, two comma three dihydro one H pyrrole, or we can also give the name like two pyrrolin, two pyrrolin. 
so here the 2 is indicating the presence of the double bond and in case of in this partially saturated compound of pyrrole it is second position and this is the fifth position 2 comma 5 dihydro 1 H pyrrole it is 3 pyroline and it is completely saturated 2 3 4 5 tetrahydropyrrole so we can also call it as pyrrolidine so lin is indicating for partially saturated lidin is indicating for the completely saturated compounds so there is no double bond in this compound 2 3 4 5 tetrahydro 1 H pyrrole as like similarly we can also represent in the case of the furan furan is a unsaturated compound here it is completely aromatic in nature and partially saturated compounds it is 2,3 dihydrofuran it is 2,5 dihydrofuran and it is completely saturated tetrahydrofuran 2, 3, 4, 5 tetrahydrofuran or we can also call it as oxolane what we previously mentioned in the table if the other than uh, nitrogen if oxygen or sulfur is present means the suffix we can give for the completely saturated compound o lane that o lane we are mentioning here as like similarly thiophen we can see unsaturated partially saturated and saturated compound if you see the aromaticity of the five member ring system with one hetero atom this pyrrole furan and thiophen all are aromatic in nature as we know benzene is aromatic it is obeying the Huckel's rule that is 4n plus 2 rule this n is indicating the number of rings present in the compound so in the benzene one ring is present so totally six pi electrons must be present so each double bond indicating two electrons totally six pi electrons are present in the benzene ring but in the case of pyrrole, furan and thiophen, there is only two pi bonds that indicates four electrons are present but it is aromatic in nature because due to the delocalization of the electrons, this lone pair of electrons, totally six electrons are delocalizing in the ring system and possessing the aromaticity of this pyrrole, furan and thiophen. Coming to the 5 membered ring system with 2 hetero atoms. So, first we can see only 2 nitrogens. So, if you see here, 2 nitrogens are present, diaza, we can call it as a di. Di means indicating 2. Diaza, 5 membered ring only, it is completely unsaturated, that's why the suffix we can give is the ol. 1, 2 diazole, and the familiarly the trivial name we are using is the pyrazole. As like previous examples, same we are writing the partially saturated compounds, completely saturated compounds. 4 pyrazoline, 2 pyrazoline. This pyrazoline. You can see the numbering we are giving from this nitrogen. Why? Because this nitrogen is more reactive when comparing with this nitrogen. That's why we are preferring to this nitrogen as a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We are preferring. The similar diazole only. But the position of the nitrogen is different in the 5 member ring system. It is 1 comma 3 diazole. 1 comma 3 diazole. And similarly partially saturated compounds and completely saturated compounds we can call it as a olidine. Nitrogen is present. Olidine we can give the suffix for the compound. Olidine. If nitrogen is present. So if the hetero atoms are present other than nitrogen more than one means we can see the prefix uh, preference order if both oxygen and nitrogen are present we can give the preference to the oxygen if sulfur is present along with nitrogen we can give the preference to sulfur this is the preference order we are giving first oxygen then sulfur then nitrogen atom so in this case this example oxygen and nitrogen is present in a five member ring system it is oxa, aza, ol. Oxa is indicating the oxen, aza indicating the nitrogen, ol is indicating the five membered ring system. First, we are giving the preference to the oxen, that's why in the name also it is coming oxa. Then nitrogen, aza, five membered ring, ol. So, position we are mentioning, we are giving the first preference to the oxen, number one here, two to the nitrogen atom, three, four, five, one, two, oxazole.
one to oxazole. Uh, the trivial name mostly we are preferring is the isoxazole. The similarly, we can see the partially saturated and completely saturated isoxazole ring systems. The same oxygen and nitrogen atom, but the position is different. 1,3 position, these are present. 1,3 oxazole we can call. Uh, the trivial name mostly we are using is the simply oxazole. And these are the partially saturated compounds and saturated compound of oxazole that is oxazolidine. Olidine. Nitrogen is present, that's why the suffix we can give is the olidine. And coming to the two heteroatoms that is sulfur and nitrogen is present. As like previous oxygen and nitrogen, here sulfur and nitrogen is present, first and second position. First we are giving the preference to the sulfur, then to the nitrogen atom, that's why thiazole. Thia azaol, thiazole. Position giving 1, comma 2. Same partially saturated and completely saturated compound of isothiazole. And the same sulfur nitrogen only present in the 5 member ring system and position is different 1, comma 3 position, 1, comma 3 thiazole. 1, 3 thia azaol. Partially saturated compounds and it is completely saturated compound thiazolidine and it is isothiazolidine. So more than two heteroatoms are if present in the five member ring system, how we are giving the numbering. So we can see these are the different examples of uh, three uh, more than three heteroatoms or four heteroatoms are present in the ring systems. So if you see in this five member ring, it is having totally three heteroatoms are present. All are nitrogens only. One, two, three. So one H, one, two, three, tri, tri indicating three. Tri azaol, triazole. And similarly, this position is different. 1, 2, 4, triazole. 1, 2, 4, triazole. And here, sulfur and two nitrogens are present. Thia diazole. Thia diazole. Thia diazole. Position 1, 2, 4. Here, 1, 3, 4. Thia diazole. This is oxa diazole oxa diazole 1 2 4 oxa diazole 1 3 4 oxa diazole and they say four nitrogens are present here 1 2 3 4 tetrazole 1 h 1 2 3 4 tetrazole or simply 1 h tetrazole we can write so these are the three or more heteroatoms are present in the five member ring system we are giving the nomenclature and numbering of the ring systems Coming to the compounds of the same five member ring systems which are fusing with the other ring systems, fused five member ring systems. If you see in this compound, the benzene ring is attaching with the pyrrole. Benzene ring attaching with the pyrrole. So, how the pyrrole is attaching to the ring system? So, it is attaching. So, if you give the numbering or alphabetical order to these bonds this is the a bond b c d and e bond the b bond of the pyrrole is attaching with the benzene ring system so we are giving in this way so we are not giving in this way so if you give in this way it is coming a b c d so it is coming to d so when comparing with the b uh, d b is better lower alphabetical number so we can write as a IUPAC name, benzo, benzene is indicating benzo, B part of the pyrrole is attaching, benzo B pyrrole. And the trivial name mostly using for this bench pyrrole is the endole. And this is a benzo B furan, B part of the furan is attaching. Similarly, benzo B diophen and it is imidazole, imidazole. So here we are giving preference to the next heteroatom. That's why A, B, C, D, E. D is attaching here. So if you give in this way, 1, 2, 3, 4, it is coming. That's why we are giving in this way, anti-clockwise we are preferring. That's why it is D part it is mentioning in this case of the ebidazole. And here also, 1H benzo D pyrazole. And it is oxazole. It is thiazole. The same nomenclature, imidazole, pyrazole, oxazole and thiazole. And this is a triazole. 
triazole. One, two, three triazole is attaching with the benzene ring systems. So these are the some examples we can see the five member ring system which are fusing with the ring other ring systems like benzene. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this, you can like, comment and subscribe and share this video to your friends. Thank you.